Hi, my name is Vladimir and this tutorial will show you how to add multiple languages to your Weebly website. The end result is having your Weebly website showing two languages. They will both have their own separate menus and you will not need to copy your entire site to achieve this. Go to your Weebly build menu and choose pages. Here you will need to make a copy of each page that you would like to have in another language. Make all your new pages to be hidden, so they will not show in the English menu. Now we will need to download the archive of the site. Go to Settings, click on Archive and Unpublish, and create an archive. You will receive an email that your archive is ready. You will need to download the archive and extract it, because we are going to need a file from it. Next, click on Design, and choose Edit HTML CSS. Here we will create a new page layout for the second language. Click on Add new layout, choose Other and type the language that you want to add. Press Continue and here we will have a new blank layout. Now go to the layout you are already using for your website and copy all the information inside it. You can select it manually or just press Ctrl A to select it all. Copy and paste the entire contents to the new layout, overwriting the existing one. Now we need to add a custom menu to the layout of the second language. For this we will need the archive that we downloaded previously. Extract the archive and open the index.html file inside. You can open it with Notepad or any other editor. We are looking for the menu that usually is right next to the logo. This is your English menu from the Weebly website. We need to copy this whole part. We will use this so we can replace the default menu in the new language layout. Now you need to look for the string named menu and paste over it with the new custom menu. Since this is a copy of the English menu, you will need to manually change all the links and the names to your appropriate language. As this is a custom menu, you can change the links and the names of the menu any way you like. Here we can change the names of the links and also change the links to lead to the translated pages. We can also check the spelling. I have changed all the links to lead to the translated pages and I translated all the names beforehand, so I will just copy and paste the code here. For your convenience, you can find all the codes shown here in the description of the video below. Make sure that your links are the full links including the domain name leading to the translated pages. Once the custom menu is set up, click Save to save the template. Now click on Pages to apply the new template to all the translated pages. You will see there is a new page layout with your language. Apply this layout to all the pages you wish to translate and show the translated menu. Click on Save and Edit and you will see that now all the custom pages have a new custom translated menu. You can easily change the template of any page now to English or other language only by changing the page layout. This makes it much more easy to edit, translate and add new pages than it is to copy the whole site each time you need to add a new language. Now to make it easy to choose the language we will add a small menu here. To do that go to design and edit HTML CSS again. Now all we need to do is add links to the languages. You can put the links anywhere you like, but in this Weebly template we will put them right next to the phone number. Like before, simply add links leading to your translated pages, one for English and one for Macedonian or your translated language. You will need to add these two links on all the page layouts that you use, so that the menu shows on every page. To make it more easy, I just add the links next to the phone number on all the page layouts. You will immediately see the new language menu. Click Save. That's it. Now you have a multi-language Weebly page. You have a custom menu for all the languages and a menu to select which language you want. You can also easily add any additional language with the same procedure. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.